Yep. It's not like there isn't potential with the idea. It's just as it stands, it really is a Battlefield expansion pack. Also, what the f these weapon models are bloody huge as well. I'm not sure if you can change those yet. Hopefully you can. I think you can in Battlefield, can you? I certainly hope so. Right, to the vault we go. Not sure if this is the best way to go. I haven't really learned the level yet. It's okay, guys, don't worry. All the criminals have military grade parachutes for some inexplicable reason. My vault, I assume, is. Can I go down? How the hell do I even get there? I assume this goes down and not up. But I couldn't tell you for certain. Yeah, more pistol heavy play I think would be good. There we go. That would be nice. Maybe some level of e escalation, possibly, during the game. Not start off everyone with ridiculous weapons. That actually would work pretty well, I think. You start off with, you know, just a kind of small band of criminals. And the re you know, there's, they begin a heist mission, and I think like you'd have to do it like uh, how how Rush does it. And you'd have to have a set of objectives. Maybe that that is what they're planning, but maybe they didn't put this in the beta yet. You have a set of objectives that start off with the basic elements of a heist, and then there's a there's a small police response to it, and eventually everything escalates. The criminals bring in more hardware. The police bring in more response units. And uh, it escalates to all-out warfare as the criminals are attempting to complete a multi-stage objective. That would work. Uh, that, I think, would be pretty good. As it stands, the way that it currently is, it really is Battlefield Cops, which is utterly pointless. <laughs> like, was anyone asking for Battlefield Cops? I was not. I believe there was a bike around here, wasn't there? Oh shit. This is gonna get bad. Time to leave. Can I steal this car? Why? <laughs> Why even put it there then? That's horribly confusing. In regular Battlefield, I understand, but like, uh, I have uh, $3,000 in cash, $300,000 in cash. It would be nice to be able to jump in any bloody vehicle and get the hell out. Let's roll. Oh, balls! Ah! <laughs> what is a Q for rep perk? Interesting. Um, I don't know what that is, and I don't know if it's permanent, but I just got it anyway. Hi. That's the quickest way to get to my vault from here. Oh, no. Someone else is driving. No. That's just me being terrible. I can rarely tell the difference. There's my bloody vault. Also, armored attack pigeons. Obviously the way to go. Missed opportunity. WTFEA. There we go. Nice. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Pick up that can. There we go. Free points. Free points. That's what we like. So I assume the rep reward is fairly similar to the scaling squad rewards that they used to have. This game looks horrible. Yeah, you know what I hate? Hyperbole. <laughs> and the fact that everyone fucking does it with video games these days. It's like, Watch Dogs is fucking terrible! No, Watch Dogs is good. It's not 9.9 .9 out of 10 good, but it's good. It is a, in almost every respect, good game. That's, that's the problem with gamers these days. There's two types of games. Game of the fucking year, all years, lol, 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 please let me whip out my dick and masturbate immediately. And terrible fucking piece of shit. That's the difference, apparently, with modern gamers. 
There is no middle ground. No nuance of any description. It's awful. It is so bad. It maybe is outside of the obvious issues that we have with sexism, cyberbullying, and generally toxic attitudes. I think the, the biggest problem we have is the complete lack of nuance and the ridiculous black and white, good, evil, good, bad dichotomy that we've got going on. Jesus fucking Christ. Can we please be reasonable? And hell, can we blame it on IGN? I think it's their fault. You want to know why? Everything below nine is terrible. <laughs> that's that's a, a, Maybe it is endemic because that's the, the score system that we've been using in these in gaming for so long has put people into this mindset where either it's fucking game of the year or it's a piece of shit that's not worth your time. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I would just appreciate it if people didn't act that way and actually acted like reasonable human beings. So I don't put a score on anything. Like, I figure after 35, 40 minutes of me discussing things, people will have a decent opinion. Oh, well, maybe I'm mistaken. Games in general just need fixing. The culture surrounding games needs fixing. The general attitude of gamers needs fixing, but in order to do that, you've got to change the culture of releases. The way that games are marketed to people, and also the way that people cover games in general. I, I've said it before, I don't believe that any media outlet should be writing hype pieces for anything. That's ridiculous. That's the job of PR. Like That's their job. That's not yours. How can I trust your opinion if, before the thing even came out, you are throwing out hype pieces? Like, 10 reasons why this game will be amazing when I know you've never played it. Like, how could I possibly trust your opinion when it comes out at that point? I can't. I couldn't do that. Like, hype. The, the problem with hype is that I think some people are realizing that hype's a big problem. And their reaction to it is extreme, completely, and totally baseless cynicism about everything, yeah? I, 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 was, I, I read, a, obviously, a lot of stuff. And every now and again, I read things that say, well, you know... The reason why gamers are such fucking assholes these days and cynical about everything is that there's been the rise of that cynical gamer, the angry gamer, you know, it's it's Angry Joe's fault or it's Total Biscuit's fault or it's Jim Sterling's fault that people act this way. It's like, no, people are acting like complete and total fucknuts way before we did anything. So that is highly unlikely. But more to the point, like, we advocate reasonable cynicism. Reasonable levels of skepticism is very, very healthy. Hating the shit out of things you've never played for no apparent reason and sending fucking death threats to the developers just because they didn't do what you want. Now that, that has nothing to do with us. And that's that's the kind of shit that just needs to stop. It's getting beyond a joke at this point. Let's go with the Uzi. That's a nice classic. Can I actually put anything on it? Probably not. All right. Ooh, let's fucking roll. Here we go. There is indeed a middle ground between game of the year and toxic piece of shit. And it is definitely worth making sure that people know that. Like, Battlefield Hardline is not a piece of shit. How could it be? Like, that, that's the weird thing, isn't it? Because you, you have this weird bit of intellectual dishonesty that says, well, you know, this game's obviously a piece of shit. And then they say, well... This game is a mod for Battlefield 4. Yeah, but Battlefield 4 was pretty good. Like, it wasn't amazing, but it was pretty good, right? Really? <laughs> this is the fucking tick rate problem in a nutshell right here. Oh, my God. As I was saying, it's... Like, you can't have both. If it's just a mod of Battlefield 4, which was in itself a, a decent game, buggy your shit... And, you know, it's taken them like a year to fix it, and it's arguably not even fixed at this point. But a decent game nonetheless. Then you can't just turn around and say, well, Hardline's a piece of shit. Like, well, but, but it's Battlefield 4. Like, so, I mean, in theory, you've got to think that Battlefield 4 was absolutely goddamn terrible. Which it wasn't. It just had a lot of problems. Like, the, the core gameplay was pretty good. Fuck me. The Uzi is not very good either, is it? 
but yeah, it's it's hype. Hype is hype is what causes this shit to happen. People raise their expectations to completely unrealistic levels, and then when the game doesn't meet it, their reaction, this kind of whiplash effect that they get is, this is a horrible piece of shit. Like, no. No, most most games are not horrible pieces of shit. Yeah? When I, I play games like Dark Raid or fucking Guys of the Wolf, those are horrible pieces of shit. Yeah? That is something that you've got to consider. That is what a shitty game looks like. Games like this do not look like that. They don't play like that. They're usually very competent at what they do. Most AAA games are very competent. It is extremely rare for a AAA game to be a piece of shit. Uh, if you want a, a AAA game that's a piece of shit, then you look at Aliens Colonial Marines. Uh, that is an unmitigated disaster, but it's very rare that something that is released by a big company is going to be completely terrible. It will usually have a lot of problems, and I do believe that more criticism should be leveled at games that cost $60 and $200 million to make. Absolutely. I mean, that's why I make videos of an hour-long cri criticism, you know? But usually my conclusion after that is the game's alright. Not brilliant, but alright. It would be lovely to see people go back to the idea that 5 out of 10 means average, instead of 9 out of 10 means average. But, uh, yeah. Outside of that, you're probably getting a reasonable feel for what this currently is. And I say that the current game modes are not really that compelling. So, I would certainly need to see what the rest of the game modes offer. I could probably open doors, but I like shooting them more. Especially since they all seem to be made of glass for no apparent reason. I think, at the moment, it's kind of missing the point of what a cops and robbers sort of battlefield game could be. And as it stands, it's less of a cops and robbers game and more of a slightly different kinds of militaries. That's what it might as well be at this point. And that's not really what quite what I'm looking for. Alpha access three months before supposed release. Well, I mean, that's when an alpha would be out though, right? A proper alpha at any rate. And I'm coming to the conclusion that this Uzi is not brilliant, so I'm going to stop using it. Let's go back to Operator. And ourselves G36C. Which again, I don't think I can actually modify. These, yeah, these have unlock criteria. I don't know what those unlock criteria actually are. It doesn't say from the screen, so. Yeah, we'll just go with that for the time being. I'd say that a lot, uh, the average of a game is that a game is mediocre. You know, the vast, uh, there's a lot of games released every year, and most games are mediocre. Yeah, and that's fine. I don't see a problem with that. But yeah, I'd say that the average game is mediocre. Why not? That seems reasonable. Ah! As regards to the trailer, the beta only has one map and two game modes, so... My hope is that there will be proper modes that actually do take the theme and create something meaningful around it. But I would imagine that for this, uh, you know, again, they probably shouldn't have even released this beta until much later anyway, if they didn't feel like they had the ability to properly showcase the title. You know, is, is anyone really going to be impressed by the current state of Hardline? Probably not, because, I mean, what is there to be impressed by? I, if I want to be... Uh, oh, those are actually quite nice uh, metal textures there. I like that. That's all right. But anyway, as I was saying, like, if you want to be impressed, you just go play Battlefield 4, which is, you know, obviously one of the most beautiful looking games on PC. Is that maximum detail. So as a result, Hardline is obviously going to look like that too, but it's going to be in the middle of a city with the most ridiculous fucking... I need to turn that bloom off. That is ludicrously high. I think if you wanted to impress people, then you've got to release a really interesting game mode, and I don't think the Blood Money or the regular Heist game modes are good enough. Because they're basically glorified Capture the Flag. Uh, I want to see that multi-stage objective stuff. I really do. That's how you do cops versus robbers. And Payday does it really well. Admittedly, it's a PvE game. But there's nothing stopping you adopting that into a competitive format. Not at all. 
people are going to compare you uh, gain to Payday anyway. You might as well make it a good clone of Payday. Even if it's not. Alright. I'm going to steal from the enemy vault. Pretty dangerous, though. Oh, fuck me. That was a shame. Incidentally, if you're just tuning in, you should probably be using Source. Everything else is running like absolute arse on, on Twitch at the moment. Can't tell you why. No idea. It's probably E3 related. That's a, a guess at any rate. So, just use Source quality or don't watch at all. <laughs> because it will look terrible. Frame rate is all over the place. Yeah, it's taking this helicopter sounds like a brilliant idea. I'll probably not even be able to take off around here. There we go. Oh, 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 shit. Fuck me. This way. There we go. Hovering it right over the money pile seems like a decent plan, all things considered. Why am I... I wasn't even aware I was taking damage there. That was weird. I agree with Grim Reaper in the chat, by the way. I, Payday's leveling system is a fucking joke. Like, I know it's it's required in order to keep the longevity going, but at the start of the game, you are useless. Like, you are completely limited in terms of your options. Getting to actually be someone that has reasonable capabilities in that game is a fucking pain. Real pain. Movement going on around here as well. So it's usually you think it'd be the regular, regular kind of ramp up sprint system that's in Battlefield 4, but there's some some strange thing going on with the movement at the moment. Can't really explain it. Someone just said this mode has no cops. Like no, no, it does. It's. It, it's cops versus criminals, but there's no real difference between the two factions, at least at the moment, anyway. So that, that would, I imagine, be why you're confused. I don't think I can actually revive yet. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm certainly not impressed at this point. Like, well, I probably should just be playing Battlefield 4. Huh? It's more fully featured. Get back here with the... I put the medkit there, please. It's more fully featured. It's got a lot more going for it. It's more stable. It runs better. Now, obviously, this is a beta, so this kind of thing is to be expected, but... I, I'm not seeing anything within the mode that... I say mode, it's weird. It's a full game, but it might as well be a game mode for Battlefield that says to me, wow, yeah, okay, this is a clearly different and distinct experience. Like, no, no, it's really not, actually. Not right now, anyway. I'll get up there, can I? Handle it! No, it definitely just feels like a game mode. It's not as the things like bikes and squad cars, but I mean, for God's sake, you have choppers with miniguns. Like, talk about asset reuse. Kind of ridiculous. Unnecessary levels of asset reuse that don't actually make a huge degree of sense. More to the point, yeah. I mean, they, w they will fix the tick rate stuff before launch. There's no doubt. How did I not kill him? What? Are you fucking kidding me? I shot. Oh my god. Six health. 
saw that guy. Ah. Uh, yeah, I like it. They'll, they'll fix the tick ride stuff before launch, but... I just, I don't see the appeal at this point. I really don't. If I want to play Battlefield, I will play Battlefield. I won't play Battlefield Cops unless Battlefield Cops feels significantly different to Battlefield 4, which it doesn't at all. It's not at all. It's like a wasted sodding opportunity. Oh, this is a bad place to be. Fuck me. He is wherever I go. Rainbow Six Siege looks like an a interesting concept. I like that idea. Now, that's like true asymmetry going on there. What I've seen of that, I obviously I don't know how well it's going to end up working, but what I've seen of it so far actually looks pretty impressive. I like the idea of that proper asymmetrical multiplayer mode with a focus on how to breach and clear. That's that's pretty cool. I say I don't know just how indicative of the final product the trailer was, but. That multiplayer trailer for Rainbow Six Siege actually got me pretty excited. It looks very interesting. Yeah, this parking garage does seem to be complete asset reuse of Flood Zone. It looks very, very similar. That's like, the, as soon as I first went up that ramp up onto the roof, I'm like, whoa, I remember this. I don't know what happened to Patriots. It's probably what Siege was repurposed into, I'd imagine. Oh yeah, I certainly would have been entirely fine with this if it was a title that was maybe like the final DLC pack for Battlefield 4. That would have made sense. <laughs> that's what that's what really gets me. It's like that would have actually made sense. This this is a difficult sell for me right now. It's like it doesn't play well, but, I mean, of course it plays well. It's the same game as the last one was. Alright. I'll be wrapping up fairly soon, because really, there's like, there's nothing else to show you. I think you've got the theme of it. It's not a radical departure from Battlefield 4, at least as it stands. So what is there to say that hasn't already been said about Battlefield 4? Now, I like this idea of like awesome car chases or something like that, but I mean, certainly in this current game mode with the, the vaults and the money piles being so close together, that kind of doesn't happen, so... There we go. That was a bit better. So that, to me, is not... Let's uh, open this so that I can get in there with the cop car. There we go. Oh, in! Oh, fuck me! Not quick enough. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Since when the cop helicopters have miniguns? Yeah, good fucking question. <laughs> Again, thematic inconsistency. Wasted opportunity. Those of the... If they don't sort this out by its release, which I assume is November, that will those will be the words that I will be using to describe Hardline. It's like, why? You know? You're gonna do cops and robbers, do cops and robbers. Don't do army and shittier army. How did I f oh my god! How the fuck did I not? I mean, really? He was on 100 health? No, it must have been a different guy then, because I put a few bullets into the other guy. There's no way he was on 100. Either that or he's cheating. I don't know which. Alright. I don't think TV's at E3. Wow, what gave you the clue? <laughs> no, I'm not at E3. I could have gone, but I decided not to. Ten tick rate can go fuck itself. <laughs> okay. I'm good to go. It 
really can. Oh, out of bullets. Come on. Yeah, military police versus terrorists. But again, you know, if it was actually that, then we'd again have that asymmetry. And there is no fucking asymmetry. None. It's like, fine, it's cool that we're driving around in a cop car, but that could be any vehicle in Battlefield 4. I got nothing more interesting to say, guys. I'm sorry. Like, it is not a particularly inspiring title as it stands. No. It is just Battlefield. And there's not too much to distinguish it. I'm the kind of person that likes to distinguish one game from another. Because I do feel that the uh, the clone argument is kind of ludicrous, and the reskin argument is also kind of ludicrous. And more often than not, it's vastly overblown and unfair. But I don't think it's unfair this time around. That's a huge amount of unnecessary asset re reuse and missing the point so far. So, we will see. We'll see what happens come November. Well, maybe it just is the fact that we don't get to see compelling game modes yet that makes me think this way, but certainly at this stage, I'm definitely not particularly excited for this. Uh, I think that I'm more likely to be playing Battlefield 4 with its, you know, hopefully if it's all properly fixed by the time this thing comes out, because hopefully it'll work properly then and the, the DLC that's available for it will actually be good. That's what I'm more excited in playing rather than playing a new release like this. Not really too thrilled. What can I say? Alright, I'm going to wrap it up now, I think. I'm going to go back to, to doing other things. Because really, there's not much else to say or analyze about it. Oh, I'll see you next time, folks.